Shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god, Cassie, it's recording. Oh. You okay. Not put that in. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about my weekend at the Presidential Scholarship Weekend at High Point University. First of all, I would like to thank High Point for giving me this opportunity in the first place. It was a really great experience. Why are you making faces at me? <laughs> Remember in one of my last videos when I was getting my nails done and I mentioned I was having an interview? I'm actually going for an interview for college. This is going to be my outfit. So it began on Friday morning, which I did not go to school, but Cassie did. Ha! Because we need to get everything situated and ready to go to our hotel. So our hotel is actually a historic home. Uh, from the early 1900s that they transformed into a hotel and it was called the J.H. Adams Hotel which I know very well because every time we had to get on one of the buses we had to make sure that we were going to the J.H. Adams Hotel. I really love this hotel because of the style. It was beautiful. The staircase, the fireplace, and everything was just really nice. Our hotel room was really clean but best of all was the bathroom had my mirror, the one that is attached to my bathroom wall so I couldn't bring it. It was actually in the bathroom, which was amazing because I was actually kind of sad that I couldn't bring my mirror. But then when I walked in to the bathroom, I couldn't believe it. So then once we got settled into the hotel, I went to the snack pantry at the front. So as I was going to get snacks, I passed a family that was also staying at our hotel. And you know, I smiled at them and I said hi and I went along my way. But then I came to this set of doors and they had handles on them. So I went to pull it, but I thought I was locked in. So I thought, oh, I need my key to open the doors. But that wasn't the case. And this family that I saw down the hall came around because they were also leaving. And they're like, oh, you pushed the door. And that's so embarrassing because I'm literally here for a scholarship weekend. So then it was time to get ready for the dinner, which was actually really fancy. So we had to dress up and do our makeup and hair and everything. And then we went to the front of the hotel to wait with everybody to get on the bus. Cause anytime we needed to go to university, they had a shuttle to bring us there. And these buses were like the field trip kind with like the TVs and the bathrooms in the back, which was really amazing. So we drove the few minutes to the university and when we drove in, oh my gosh, it was amazing. were so many people there. We got in line and we got our food, which was really good. And they even had chocolate cake. Then after the speakers, they had some performers come in that actually were on America's Got Talent. I'm pretty sure that was the show that they were on. And they put on a whole juggling show for us, and they took some people from the audience, and it was really good. One, two, three, four! Then, before we 
left, they gave us some more free gifts. They gave us a scarf, a book with everything you could ever want to know about the university, and an umbrella because it was drizzling outside. Really, really nice of them. And then we got on a bus and we went back to our hotel and that was my first night at High Point. So the next morning we had to be up very early because we need to get ready for our very busy day. Just as it was for dinner, we had to be on time and on the bus to go to the university in time for breakfast and the speech that the president was going to give. But also, we weren't going to be staying another night at the hotel, so we had to pack everything up because we weren't going to have time to go to the university, come back, pack up all our stuff, and then leave. So we had to do it all before we got on the bus, um, which would have been fine. <laughs> Um, but it snowed overnight and there was ice everywhere, so it was it was a little bit challenging. But we got it done in time and we got on the bus and went to breakfast. And breakfast was good. And they gave speech right before the interview started. I understand it from the inside out. Our team here understands it from the inside out. And thank God we have faculty that gets it. Now the academic piece is very, very important. Make no mistake about that. Which I was actually one of the first interviews. So I got on the bus and they took me across campus with a couple other kids. And we were a little bit lost at first, which wasn't good because it was really windy and there was snow blowing all around. Um, which made it not enjoyable to walk around. But eventually we found our building and we did the interview, which I was really nervous for, <laughs> like really nervous for, but the interviewers were very nice and they encouraged me a lot. So that was really good. Then we went for lunch and we walked around the university a lot, checked out a bunch of the buildings. actually got more snacks which were amazing okay we also checked out the gift store which I got wait I gotta show it right <laughs> I got a little teddy bear which is wearing my name tag right now so I got my little teddy bear and I also got a shirt mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. behind us somewhere we're in an igloo and it's freezing oh my gosh not inside the igloo though it's like you're inside It, right? I don't think I'm missing anything. What? Scarf. Yeah, I said that in the beginning. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I got to learn a lot about the university and it was a really great experience overall. Yeah, in the evening we just drove home. So that was my weekend at the Presidential Scholarship Weekend. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Do my pajama pants show. Weekend. No. <laughs> oh no, no. Of which I did not go to school. Of which nobody speaks like that.